everybody. Welcome to Good Friends Farm. Do you hear peeping? Let's find okay. out who it is. <laughs> Hello. Do you say peep, peep, peep? Oh, I have a cow. I say moo, moo, moo. I don't say peep. Okay, so hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi, it's <laughs> Hi, it's Samantha. We're going <laughs> to my surgery, my lumpectomy. This one should be not too bad of a procedure. I am just getting a lumpectomy, not a lymph node dissection or anything like that. Last time I had a lumpectomy, you can go check that out. I have videos about it. I had to get a lumpectomy with lymph node removal and I had to go in for a re-excision because the margins weren't negative the first time. Hopefully we, this time we just have to do one lumpectomy, margins are negative, and we can get on with our lives. That's the idea. That's the idea. And Gray's with me and we have our baby in the back, but um, my sister's gonna be picking her up. Obviously she's not coming with us to the surgery, but Ray is going to come with me for the surgery, so he's going to be in charge of the surgery vlog. You guys missed Gray. He's here. I'm still here. <laughs> if you want to see more of him, check out our other channel, but we don't post very often on it. And whose fault is that? My fault, but I really want to be able to post more often on it, but I want to make the videos actually good and then they take time to film. We are edit. Only Not film, like, but edit. We're only like 18 months behind on that channel. So yeah. if you want to see what we did the summer of 2022, <laughs> it's on there. I want to, it's, look, it's not for you guys, it's for us. Yeah, so, stop watching. No, I just mean like, I just mean like, it's, it's, I just want to make sure the videos get made and get out there. I'm not on any sort of schedule. So like, they're going to be far behind and maybe you don't care about what we were doing months ago, but we care to keep those memories. So we're going to try to film as much as we can, but the priority is just getting the surgery. So if we don't do as good of a job at filming, I'm sorry about that. You have anything to say? Nope. Hi. Good to be back. I didn't go anywhere, but <laughs> I'm still here. Some of you have been wondering. Getting ready for the surgery. I've got this like thing that's a warm it's blanket. Like a, it's, a, it's a paper thin blanket, but it's full of hot air. Yeah, it's awesome. That's neat. We should install one of those at home. Ivy got good. They did the Ivy on the first try. Ivy got good, guys. Ivy got good. She's not even sedated yet. No, I'm not. I'm just like bad at talking. <laughs> looks intense. Yeah, it looks like I have like some intense medical condition. The it's iron just a, lung. Just a warm blanket. Um, we're all set, ready to go. Just waiting for them to come back and get me to go to the operating room. They said that it's just gonna be twilight sedation and not general unless like I'm having some sort of issue then they'll put me under to do actual general anesthesia. Um, hoping, hoping that that doesn't need to happen because then the recovery will be better and I'm not, I won't cry probably as the only time I ever cry is when I'm under general anesthesia, so. What were you saying? I was saying you might, you might want to speak up. It kind of sounds like you're being a little quiet. Oh. Also, what's the deal with these chairs? Like, why are they like Yeah, this? well, you're taking her chair. That's kind of rude. Why is it, like, how are you supposed to, like, now my legs aren't touching it, so why is it like this? I don't know. It should be fast. It should be just an hour, and then I should just have to recover after that. So, have fun my way eventually. <laughs> Cool. Do a little like GoPro thing. I like it. Bye. Bye. Yes. Hey. Hey. Thank you. You awake? Yeah, basically. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna. No. You don't seem silly. No, I'm not gonna be great. silly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been awake for a little bit. <laughs> she came out smiling and awake. Go get her some water, and then really we're gonna be going they said I woke up really fast when I was in the operating. Yeah. I was still, I was in the operating room when I woke up. They said it was really quick. Gotcha. Yeah, doctor called me. Yeah, she wasn't there. So, and then I saw your text message. I was like, oh, she was talking to you already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm after surgery. I think everything went well. I woke up. They said I woke up pretty quick. I was in the operating room. I woke up, and they wheeled me back here, and then I like immediately asked for a drive because I always do. 
The last thing I remember is like telling Doctor not to touch my feet because when I first went in there, she would like she doesn't grab my feet. She like grabs around my ankles, and I remember the last time she does that because she like it feels like comforting because she's like, oh, I'm with you, I'm with you, but I'm like, I really hate it when t I touch my feet. And she goes. Oh yeah, I remember you told me that last time. I was like, yeah, I think I did. She was like, yeah, I won't touch your feet. Maybe I should stop doing that. I was like, oh, it's kind of nice. And then like I had the gas on and like they were all laughing about it. And Doctor was like, yeah, I always touch my feet because I like want to stay out of people's way. I remember looking at the monitors and they like asked me a few other questions and then like I was clearly like I must have been out after that or just not remember. And then, like, I woke up, and the next thing I knew, I woke up, and they are like, everything went well. So, <laughs> if anyone wants to buy us one of these systems for our house... I don't want it. Send I us a message. This stupid, the stupid tube, but the actual blanket... Well, the tube wouldn't have to be in the bed. The tube is, could just run down to your feet. It's fantastic. If you, wa if you watch my other surgery vlogs, when I wake up, I'm always freezing. But Gray came in this room, and I was, like, comfortable. She said she was going to get me water because I asked for water like right when I woke up. I don't know. My throat's like super dry and has like a weird taste in it from stuff. You look super pale on the camera. Like I'm just that's a pale sick, person. but you're but you're actually not. You don't look very pale in the well, maybe it's the lights. Well it's not it's the camera. It's like in real life you look fine. But yeah, okay. on the camera you look bad, so well, I'm I think not the white sick. balance is screwed up. Yeah. Well let me it just adjust the white balance. Where's just my camera or my phone case? Should I put it back in there? You mean your glasses case? Yes, my glasses case. I keep saying them wrong. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I thought you might have to film your way out. Mm, that's okay. You can put it back. Okay, so we're back in the car after the surgery. Did you do any updates while I was in the surgery? I didn't. There wasn't really much to update on. I think we covered everything pretty well. It's just pretty simple. Everything went really, really fast and really, really smoothly. I didn't need general. Did I say that already? I don't remember what I, I said. I don't think you said that. You did not need general. Um, I didn't need general anesthesia. I just had like the regular stuff. I'm having a little bit of pain, um, like on the incision. They gave me Tylenol right before my surgery, so they said I can't take it again until 5.30, but I don't think I really need it. It's not like so much pain where like I need Tylenol, but I wouldn't want someone like slapping me in the breast, you know? Um, we're going to go pick up our daughter, um, and then we're gonna try to go home. And that's basically it. I mean, I don't, I mean. The only source of stress left is the results of the biopsy and stuff. Did yeah, it, they said five to seven business days. Did it mutate or what? Yeah, I would like to know that. Me too. I hope it didn't. Yeah. Uh, Gray talked to the doctor. I did, yeah. They removed the lump and then there was a little bit of thicker stuff that might have been just scar tissue from before. And they took a sample of that too. I feel like I can um, think fairly well, like comparatively to other surgeries, but like I definitely am still loopy. I tried to get out of there as fast as possible. I was like, can we leave? Can, I, can Gray come back? I'm just gonna go home and recover. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, sorry for the lack of updates, um, but basically we went to my mom's house and we picked up our baby we hung out there for a little bit because she was having fun and i wasn't really feeling too bad um because i guess like the surgery like numbing stuff like hadn't worn off yet um we left because i wanted to be home before it was time to take my next Tylenol dose and by the time we got home I was starting to feel um, the effects a little bit more. It hurts a little bit but it's really not too bad at all. Um, the only time I really notice it is if I'm like, well, I notice it if I'm trying to move, if I'm trying to sit up or get back down. I have to use my arms, mainly my right arm because it's on my left side. and. Um, I'll notice it like sometimes I'll like forget that I have a problem and I'll like go to try to open a door and I'll be like ah so I have to just like remember that I can't use this left arm as much and like reaching for things I can't really reach for things very well but 
it's really not too bad. I can't lift anything. Um, my daughter has asked to come up. That's what she says for coming up multiple times. And I just have to keep telling her, like, I can't get you, I can't get you up right now. Um, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, Gray is in her room with her right now. If you saw my vlog of how I take care of her um, after back surgery, you'll know that she has a bed, like a toddler bed. And I know she's only 16 months old and most babies are still in a crib then, but I can't uh, put her in a crib and lift her out of it because of my back. So she sleeps in a toddler bed so she can get in and out of her bed at night and she recently um, learned how to open doors so what she's been doing is she'll get out of bed in the middle of the night and come to our room and sleep in our and like ask to come in our bed and we will take her in our bed like around 3 a.m or whatever and so we don't want that to happen so gray set up an air mattress to sleep in her room so that he can like get her before she comes all the way into our room and we just want to make her as comfortable as possible obviously like if she came into our room she Greg could have taken her back and put her in her bed and whatever but this way he gets sleep she's comfy with him and oh and I guess I didn't explain this she can't sleep in this bed with me because she'll be too aggressive and she'll kick me or hit me or something and that'll hurt so and also I I told him I told Gray, why don't you just sleep in this bed? And when then when she comes to come in the room to get in this bed, you can just bring her up into this bed. And he was just afraid of doing that because he was afraid that like um, she would roll out of bed and he wouldn't realize it because um, he's like a little bit of a more heavier sleeper than I am. So he didn't trust himself. So that's why he set up an air mattress that's on the floor. So if she crawls into bed with him, and rolls off of the air mattress, then it's not gonna injure her. I was gonna go sleep in the guest bedroom, but now that he's doing that, I could just sleep in our bed. I'm not gonna have the results from pathology for a while. They said like five to seven days. So um, I don't really have an update about that, unfortunately, but the lumpectomy went really well. The recovery, I feel like is gonna go pretty smoothly. Out of all the surgeries I've done, this has definitely been the smoothest, easiest process. All of the nurses were great, and doctors, like the anesthesiologists and my surgeon, of course, were all fantastic. I tend to remember a lot, even though I'm on anesthesia, um, and this time I could just tell that they really didn't give me that much stuff. Um, it, was, it was an easy procedure, so I, they didn't need to give me that much. It was quick, and I'm really glad about that because I don't like the feeling of like feeling like with my brain being foggy and trying to remember everything and, and all that. I just kind of like woke up and I like knew what was going on and I was like ready to go. And so I was like, when can I leave? <laughs> I like put on my clothes like as fast as possible and like just got out of there. And they and they were like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I kind of feel a little bit dizzy. And they were like, well, you have to ride in a wheelchair out of here anyway. I was like, okay, well then I won't have any issue. <laughs> But yeah, everything went really well. Sorry if it this if this is like too much information. You don't have to watch this. Um, this is just supposed to be a fun vlog. But um, I'll probably make a separate video with the results um, from pathology um, when I get those. So for now, this is basically it, and I'll I'll give you like an update on how my recovery went too. Um, I'm hoping that it just goes really smoothly. And oh. Uh, my incision. I'll show my incision, but here's a warning. If you do not want to see that kind of thing, then don't watch this part. <laughs> There's the incision. It's not too bad. That's about how big it is. And I have this cereal that's kind of sitting over there getting soggy, so I should probably eat it before it gets too soggy. Um, thanks so much for watching this video, and um, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions about lumpectomies and whatever. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want. And yeah, that's all. Bye.